Hi everyone, I'm back with another sales video showing you what's going out today, um, mainly sales from the weekend. So today is Tuesday, um, sales numbers, so like the quantity of items that are going out, are still um, lower than we'd like them to be, but it seems to be something that everyone's experiencing at the moment. Um, we have sort of listed a little bit, but we've mainly been working on our existing listings, tweaking prices, titles, item specifics, um, just to get the perfect listings. Um, hopefully you watch our videos regularly, but if you don't, um, I'm Faye and with Simon, um, my husband, we resell full time, mainly on, well, always on eBay and Amazon. Um, if you look at our thumbnails or if you um, notice our thumbnails on YouTube regularly, I did have the Depop and Vinted logos on there as well as the Amazon and eBay ones. Um, but I'm so fed up with Vinted and Depop um, that I just don't bother anymore. So I have removed those from our thumbnails because I'm not spending any more time on them. Um, I mainly spend time on them removing listings that have sold on eBay. So uh, I'm not listing any more stuff on there. Uh, so what I'm going to show you today is mainly items sourced from charity shops in the auction. I'll let you know where I got them from if I can remember. I usually can. Um, and I'll let you know what we paid for them and what we sold them for. Um, like I said, it was a better weekend. Um, I'm not going to grumble. However, I would like it to be uh, at least twice as many more um, orders. But someone said like they've noticed their sales plummet since the Euro started. But... It's not stopped me from shopping. <laughs> so I'm doing these in price order. So I'm going to show you the lowest price ones first and work up to the most expensive. Um, got some cool things to show you. And um, yeah, let's make a start. So obviously it wouldn't be a video about a cherished teddy. Uh, this one's a big brother to look up to. Uh, paid 40p for him last May in a bundle and just trying to get rid of him now. £3.98 that one went for. Uh, got a few left. Um, not many though, um, so that's good. Just had a message about this item saying please post ASAP. I'll post, well, I said I was going to post. It's a Zara girls layered skirt, size 9 to 10 years. Um, cost £1.29 in November from an auction bundle and uh, sold for £4. We clear a lot of um, stuff through out of au au auction bundles, so we might buy a bag with 100 things in it, we might sell a couple of bits for like hundred pounds and then the rest we just clear through so there's a lot of that going on including these Calvin Klein seamless bikini brief knickers they're brand new about tags got them in January from the auction for three pound and seven p and they've gone for a fiver another auction item is this champion red flame t-shirt in extra large brand new tags um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, can't shift champion for love nor money. Um, so this one went for a fiver. It cost one ninety three in October. Um, I don't get it. It's brand new tags. It's extra large. I have no idea. I can't sell white ones, can't sell grey ones, can't sell black ones. So we're just trying to clear them through as, as low as possible. But luckily I didn't buy the, um, I didn't specifically go out to buy the champion stuff. It was just in with other bits and bobs. Now this is something I'm so glad to get rid of. It's a Miss Look Maxi dress in medium. Um, it's just horrible. It came in an auction bundle, cost £2.43 in June last year. It's been on Depop, it's been on Vinted, um, it's been on eBay, and it's sold on eBay for a fiver. It just, it's not even nice material, it's horrible. I feel like my hair's falling out everywhere, it's tickling me. Uh, next up, <coughs> this Response Electronics PLC VCR controller for TVI CCTV. Cost a pound in July from the auction with some other electricals and this sold for 5.22. It's old. Need some water. Uh, next up is this Hornsey Heirloom Vinegar Pourer Jug with a wooden top. It's got a V on the top for vinegar. And this cost a pound in April and it sold for six. Um, I thought it would be worth more, but it's not. Um, since I, I do pick up Hornsey quite a bit, um, but more recently I've joined the Hornsey Facebook group. It's really interesting. There are so many different Hornsey patterns that I didn't even realise. You can normally spot a Hornsey pattern 
or um, a crockery item just by the shape um, or the finish. Uh, well, I can anyway, but there's so many that I've obviously missed because I just didn't realise how many patterns they had. So if you're into like um, something, like whether it be pottery, glass, um, collectible sort of items like cherished teddies maybe, or um, trolls, anything, there's going to be a Facebook group for it. So join it and you can learn so much. And everyone's really helpful if you need help, like identifying something or getting advice on a design or a shape or an age. And they're really good groups and they've helped me a lot. So yes, little tip for today. Um, next up, something else that we've had for ages, this New Balance sports vest um, in large. It uh, cost $2.99 in August last year from the auction and sold $6.64. So we don't buy clothes individually from the auction, we buy a huge bag of clothes or like, um, what do they call them? Not like sometimes it's a palette or it's a. I can't remember what it's called now, but like a huge box on a palette, um, stuff full of clothes. Um, <coughs> another auction pick up some wardrobe dehumidifier condensation removers. Uh, cost eight eighty one in February. Sold for six ninety nine. Um, these are on a thirty percent off promotion. Now, the reason we sold them for less than we bought them for is because we they were in a big bundle of stuff that we wanted um, other items in there, and these were just surplus to requirements. Uh, another auction pickup, this Systema Triton Fruit Infusing Water Bottle, cost £7.64, sold for £7. Another example of um, it, like just items in auction bags that we just sell through cheap to get rid of because we were more interested in the better items in there. Um, next up is this Arden Sculptures, the classic Winnie the Pooh collection, honey on head ornament. Now this cost 50p from a charity shop back in April and it sold for 7.31. Wasn't gonna leave it behind for 50p. Uh, another Systema Triton Fruit Infusing Water Bottle. Um, again, 7.64, this one sold for 8.64. Um, more breakables, some Kath Kidston Woodland Rose egg cups, two of them. These cost £2 in April and they sell for £9. And some napkin rings. These were in one of my vintage sort of house clearance unboxing videos, I think, with the finger door plates and the wool yarn ball. I'm pretty sure these are in there. Um, they're like different shades of orange. I don't know if they're supposed to be. Um, they don't, they're all the same size, but they're all slightly different shade of colour. Um, it says uh, napkin rings, acrylic. These cost three seventy two and sold them for nine oh nine. I made loads back just on the finger plates, door finger plates. So everything else is a bonus. Um, some more minifigures. Um, don't forget Simon picked up those minifigure bundles for £19 I think it was and in there were a load of PJ Mask figures um, and I made up bundles with um, Catboy, Gecko and Owlet in but some of them are slightly different. Uh, so these ones are on fixed stands and they cost £1.43 and they sell for £9.59 on a 30% off promotion. Done so well on those figures. Um, it, they were a great buy, so well done, Simon. Uh, Masai Clothing Company dress. This one was on Vinted, uh, well, for sale on Vinted, um, but I didn't get any interest. It cost £3.75 in August last year, so it's time to get rid of it, uh, and it's gone for £9.70. I had never found Masai before until last August when I found like three items in one day, um, and I don't think I'll pick them up again because. I think one sold quite quick, um, but that one was obviously taking almost a year and I think I've got one item left. Another clothing item, this is a Fila Terry Prunet sweatshirt in extra large. This cost £2 um, in January from the auction and it sold for £11.89. Brand new tags, extra large, um, still wouldn't sell. Um, or took ages to sell rather, ended up going on a 30% off promotion. This is ex Costco stock, 
Uh, so they probably originally sold in a two pack or with matching tracksuit bottoms. Um, but that's the reason I got it because the packets have been split open. Um, Next up is this vintage quality street tin in purple uh, from the 60s slash 70s. And I've put it's a prop, it's retro and it's collectible. It costs three pounds in May. It's quite worn, it's got rust on it. Uh, which I've declared and taken really good pictures um, and it sold for 12.71 and they've said hi please can this be wrapped extremely well this is going to be part two of a birthday present of past times many thanks Kathy no worries obviously gonna fill it fill it with maybe chocolates that are out of date from the 1960s or 70s um hmm. dress Joe Brown's dress Picked these up not that long ago, but I actually just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, it's a Joe Brown's jersey wrap dress. Um, I couldn't get the name of this design, even though I searched high and low with the codes on the labels. I took a picture on a white background and put it through Google Lens. Um, some of the other ones I picked up that day, I, I was able to get the name of the design, uh, but I couldn't with this. Um, it cost six fifty two in May, and I just took an offer of thirteen because I just the weather's rubbish. Um, People, a lot of people aren't going on holiday. Ours got cancelled again. Um, so summer stuff, I don't want hanging around into autumn and winter. This has been returned once, because um, I didn't like the smell. Um, mm, Bedfordshire Fire and Rescue are outside my house. Interesting. Uh, this is Wa'okata, is that right? I know Sophie told me how to say it. Um, Aromacology Relaxing Pillow Mist. Uh, cost £3.50 in April. And um, it's not brand new, but I've said it's not brand new. There's like a centimetre or an inch. Depends how full it was in the first place, but it's like almost completely full. Um, and it went on a 30% off promotion for £13.59. Um, now, Back at the start of the year, from the auction, I bought a load of printer cartridges, um, like real big, um, sort of industrial sized printer cartridges, and they were really, really good. Um, they cost like five pound a thing, um, a cartridge, um, and they were selling for like 50, 60 pounds per cartridge. So I was really pleased, but annoyingly in the bag, I had loads of, um, like compatible mini ink cartridges, so not the original manufacturer ones, um, just like ones that you can get from Cartridge Land or Cartridge World, whatever they're called. Um, so people, you can't really make much money on these. Um, so I had, they worked out £5.19 a packet, but obviously um, I couldn't really sell them for that. Someone bought three packets, so there's four in each packet. So I bought all of these for £13.98 because I had a 20% off multi-buy. So if they bought more than one packet, they saved 20%. Uh, so all of these are going for £13.98, which is good because they are taking up quite a bit of room in a big sack. Uh, ooh, one of Simon. Oh, this is heavy. This is the Great British Train Game by Reader's Digest and it sold for £3.49. No, it didn't. We paid £3.49 in May and it sold for £14.50. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, I don't know if you got that from a charity shop or that's a sort of charity shop price. So I'm thinking you did. But yes, you must have done. Because I don't think he's bought games from the auction for, like, for a few months. Shoes. Ooh, falling out. Uh, Gabor Ballet Pumps, I've sold these over and over and over again. Um, there are six. Like, never really been worn. Uh, maybe a couple of times. Um, paid £6.99 in April for these, and I sold them for 15 Purely because... I've kind of... I'm not falling out of other shoes as such. But certain shoes that I used to do really well selling... Um, aren't selling as much because people aren't sort of dressing up smart, they're not going into the office. Um, air stewardesses, for example, aren't really flying as much. So they're a prime example of what an air stewardess may wear. Um, there's just loads of, like, it, it, the money's more in trainers. Um, but 
I like picking up trainers, but a lot of them are so overpriced. So I'm just trying to clear out a load of shoes. Um, so that was fine for me, 15 pounds, see you later. Uh, a great one here, Wilkinson Sword Quattro Titanium Precision Razor Blade, two eight packs. I paid a pound each for these in um, the boots clearance section a couple of weeks ago. Um, I picked up a load of stuff that day and I've done really, really well out of it. Um, made my money back um, three times over now and there's still more to sell. Um, so yeah, these cost two pounds and they sold for 16.99. Another recent pickup is this uh, Long Tool Sally top. Uh, it's a peasant top in white. I actually got this a few weeks ago. We went away for the weekend and um, on the way to where we were going, we went to some charity shops and I picked this one up. Uh, so this was an out of area pickup. Uh, it cost six pounds and it sold for 18. I think is it quite a big size, large. A bit of electrical, Canon camera scan, uh, 210 scanner plus USB cable. Uh, it's fully working, but it has no box or instructions. It cost £10 in June and sold for 30 Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in a recent haul video when I got this, but I had to have like a mini operation on my toe right at the start of the year. And um, the guy who did it, um, he had like a little office and loads of cardboard boxes out, out the front of the office. And Simon said, oh, are you getting rid of those boxes because if so i'll take them off your hands he's like yeah yeah please do and he said there's a scanner in there as well if you want it and sold it for 40 quid which was great because like the operation on my toe cost like 300 quid um so uh that was great and this one was the next model down so i couldn't get 40 quid for it I got 30 um but yeah it's good to know i learned something from that experience and that meant i picked that one up a few weeks ago I made some money. Um, this one's not been around long. It's a Wedgwood white on pink. Um, so it's just for wear. Um, boxed night light. And uh, it's a tea light holder and you can get the tea light with it as well. Uh, this cost £9 in May from a charity shop and it sold for £30. Which is jolly good hmm. right the thing i'm going to show you next there's actually four of them but i'm only going to show you one because they're just like big and they're all in polystyrene things and when you undo the polystyrene things bits of polystyrene go everywhere and also it's really hard to get them back in the right way around um but absolutely ages ago it must be like two years maybe more i won um, these houses at auction so they're called Hawthorne Village by Thomas Kincaid now you might recognize Thomas Kincaid he does a lot of um, something of light puzzles I can't remember what they're called but they're like in the navy blue box and um, he does these like series of houses and uh, this one's called what is this one called uh, this one's called Fallbrook Florist um, and it's from the year 2000 and they've all got codes, they're very collectible um, but they've got a hole in the bottom <coughs> excuse me, for a light bulb so they have this, they have these lights but it's a big wire with big light bulbs on and a switch and they go underneath and you switch them on and the light shines through um, the windows but these don't come with the lights, they're just the houses so I declared that there's four of them. We've got Stonebrook Inn, we've got Wiltshire Pastry Shop, and we've got Springgate Manor House. Now um, <laughs> they were in these um, polystyrene bits before I'd even looked at them at the auction. I just bid, and when we got them home, they just ended up being a really good stand for my white background. So I, I, I just they were just there on the table for two years being a stand. I didn't even take them out of the packaging. So I finally got around to listing them in March this year. They cost £3.3p and each, and someone offered um, to take all four for £45 last week. So I was like, yeah, bonus, do it. Um, so, because they were all listed individually, so he sent an offer for each one individually, which I accepted, and then he said, oh, I'll pay on Monday. And I thought, why didn't you just tell me that at the time? 
um, and Simon was convinced that he wasn't going to pay or that he was had them for sale on his own um, eBay and that he was only going to um, pay if he sold them. Um, but Simon was proved wrong because he paid yesterday. So yeah, really pleased with that. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, twelve pounds and twelve p into forty-five. So good one. So post finally. I've never seen them anywhere else. I've gone. They've got all like that's the base, uh, all with the writing on the code, and that's where like the light bulb goes. They're very they're American, and if you collected. Excuse me, if you collected them all, you'd have to have a lot of space. So perfect in America because you've got bigger houses. Um, okay, next up. We have Viviscal Man Hair Growth Programme. Two times 60 tablets food supplement. These were a boots pick up. The same time that I got those Wilkinson Sword razors. These are five pound, these were a five pound a packet. So 10 pound I paid for these and they sold for 54.99. I'm so pleased. And I don't even know why they were reduced really because the expiry is May, 2023. Okay. And also another lot sold. Uh, again, 10 pounds, I only got them this month. And these sold again for 54.99, they cost 10 pounds. And these have a different expiry, but still a good one of December, 2022. And then, Finally, the best sale of the weekend. It was a real high five moment just before we went on our little um, garden driveway sale trail with the dogs on Sunday um, to pick to find some bargains locally. This came through. So ooh, this is a water can, also known as a Buckby can. It's a large one and it's like bargeware. So people have it on their barges on the canal. And it's got the faux car on it. Um, I couldn't see a signature on it. Now I only picked it up because I liked it. I thought someone's gonna love it because it's like the traditional painting. Um, it cost me 4 99 And uh, when I got home, I did a load of research and I couldn't, uh, people were selling them for a lot of money, but they were sort of stating the artist. I couldn't find any signature, so I had to save no signature. I don't. I didn't declare an artist. Um, it sold for one hundred and ninety nine pounds and ninety nine p. So I'm so happy. It's what they would use for filling up with drinking water, um, on their boats. It's got a lid there. It's got a lid there. It's got the handles, and um, there's the base. So yeah, four ninety nine into a hundred and ninety nine pounds and ninety nine p. That is the best sale of the weekend. So I'm really really chuffed with that. Um, do you know much about bargeware? Have you picked it up before? Would you pick it up? Um, you probably would now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would. I'd definitely pay more than four ninety nine. Um, if I saw a Buckby can, I don't know. I need to do my research on if I just saw a watering can or um, a jug. Um, I don't know if, it's, if the price is down to it being a Buckby cam. Um, but yeah, I, it's just, just, I mean, I've got two in the garden. One's just a, just a jug and one's a watering can. I don't know if they're gonna be any good, but um, maybe the money would be better in my account than um, looking at the jug in the garden, I don't know. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Um, that is everything that's going out today. Um, Simon's going to pack it up and take it to the post office pretty pronto because he wants me to take him to his mate's house to watch the football tonight, um, which is an early kickoff. Early kickoff. So um, I have invited myself and the dogs around my sister's house for tea. Um, so I'm going to list this afternoon while Simon packs and hope for a good week of sales. Um, how are sales for you? Let us know. And um, we're loving all the questions and comments. Um, don't forget we're over on Instagram as well. Some of you have followed us over there and have been chatting to us on Messenger, which is great. And um, we're always here to help if you've got any questions. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.